Okay, guys. This happens to be an Amazon parrot <laughs> who is very talkative. I'm going to go outside with George, so hang on. And look at who's at the door, my Bentley! <laughs> All right, here we are outside on the lanai, and I'm going to show you what temperature it is. You're not going to believe it, or maybe you will. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. George just had a bath. He just had a bath. And probably, yeah, I guess the light would be better if I put him down here, but I wanted to show you a little wet Georgie and interact with him a little bit and teach you a little bit about parrots. <laughs> George. Now when when they pin their eyes, in other words, when their pupils get real small, that means they're excited. And it's called pinning. And he's doing a lot of that right now, bobbing his head. He knows I'm here and he knows I'm paying attention to him. And you look at you. He liked his bath. He did not want me to bring him back in the house. He, um, he will be aggressive if he doesn't want to get on my finger. Do you want to get on my finger? No, he's backing up. George, you want to say hello? You want to say hello? You want to wave? Wave? Yeah, wave. Go ahead, let me see you. Wave. Wave to mommy. Wave. He won't even do that. Oh, there he goes. <gasps> Good boy, wave. Come on, wave. You want to wave? Wave to mommy. Wave. He doesn't want to wave. He picks up his foot when he's ready to wave. What's your name? Is your name George? Is your name George? He's coming closer. Do you love mommy? Do you love mommy? Yeah, he loves mommy. Is it hot out here, George? Where's Bentley? There's Bentley. What's Bentley doing? You looking away? So I got George in 2002. Yes, he's 17 years old. Right? Is that right? Yeah, he's a 17-year-old. He's going to be getting his driver's license. <laughs> so anyway, for, for those of you who are interested in parrots, um, George needs to get his nails trimmed and his wings trimmed at least a couple times a year so that he, he's, care, he's, he's comfortable for me to handle. If his nails are too long, they're very sharp and they feel like pinpricks in my finger. And he gets his wings clipped because um, he doesn't fly anymore, even if he, I didn't. But I, at first he flew into the window and hurt himself. So in order to avoid him hurting himself and flying into things, I get his wings clipped. And not only that, but there are occasions that I will take him outside with me and I don't want him to fly away. That would be a heartache, wouldn't it, George? And George is a yellow naped Amazon who does not want to get the yellow nape back on the back of his neck. He molted it out and he never got it back, but he's got a little bit of yellow on his nose, which he's turning away from me now. He's got navy blue and red on his feathers. And for the most part, he's a chartreuse green. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want me to film him. <laughs> and you can see the yellow on his beak, on the top of his beak right now. And his ears are on the side of his head and they're holes. 
And if I pulled his feather away, you'd be able to see the hole where his ears are. And George is no longer hormonally aggressive, thank goodness. Um, for the first 10 years of their lives, they're very aggressive when they're into their hormonal season. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. But George, he is very, very much like a three-year-old child. He's, he, he demands his own way. He, he can be a bully. He's very smart. He's very content with just me and my husband and Bentley. Bentley, what are you doing? You're not eating anything that you shouldn't, are you? Bentley, come on up here so I can see you. And George was depressed before I got another dog. When Andy passed away, George was showing signs of depression. He's used to having a dog around, so he is so much better now with Bentley around. And um, when I go out with my husband every day for lunch, I usually leave some music on for George because George is very, very into music, just like his mommy. <laughs> he likes me to sing. He used to imitate my singing. Uh, uh, uh. He used to do that kind of thing. With any luck, he'll do it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Huh. You want to say hello? You want to say hello? Who's a pretty bird? Who's a pretty bird? It's my George. <laughs> I don't think I've ever featured George this long in a video before. Do you want to get on Mommy's finger? No? Okay. He doesn't. You want to come on Mommy's finger? You want to step up? No? Okay. Okay. He doesn't want to, so we won't make him. You want to avoid every occasion of the possibility of him biting you because he will re repeat the behavior. And believe me, he has bitten me in the past several times. I have scars to prove it. And that's why most people who have pet parrots give them up. But I can't give George up. He's so much a part of my life. He eats dinner with us every night. He shares our meal with us every night. He watches TV with us every night. <laughs> yeah, he's a, good, he's a good pet. I don't know what I would do without him. He is a lot of work. They make a lot of mess. They scatter their seeds. I have to vacuum every day. Yeah, I have to clean his newspaper every other day in his cage because, yep, poop, bird poop. You learn to live with it. Thank goodness it doesn't have a strong smell. It's just bird poop. And they poop a lot. Yes, they do. But for any of you interested in getting a parrot, you always have to consider allergies because they do have dust. They have um, lots and lots of dust, but the Amazon is one of the least dusty birds of them all. The most um, dusty are the um, cockatoo, the big white birds. In fact, when you pet them, if you pet them, like I'm petting George, your hand will feel like baby powder is on it. George is not very dusty at all, but even George makes dust, so that's why I take him out here and give him a bath as often as I can with a spray bottle. It cuts down on their dander. The Amazon is supposedly the second best talking parrot next to an African Grey. 
but George is not a very good talker because I don't talk a lot. <laughs> when I'm home, I'm kind of quiet. So George only says a few things and um, yeah, but that's okay. That's who he is. Bentley, come here, Bentley. Come on here. Come on up here. That's a good boy. Look at Bentley. Look how cute Bentley is. He's changed so much since we've gotten him. He has. Okay, I'm going to go now. I just wanted to feature George. Say goodbye, George. Say goodbye. Huh. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy Mother's Day. Bye-bye.